Tiffany, starting in the late 19th century. They were renowned for their elaborate stained glass shades, crafted entirely by hand. The term Tiffany has come to be used as a generic term for any lamp or hanging light fixture with a stained glass shade. This lighting company produces original stained glass lamps, as well as reproductions of renowned Tiffany designs. There's nothing machine made here. Each and every creation is meticulously handcrafted. The lamp designer first draws a pencil sketch of the shade, then prepares a color rendition. He produces a pattern in the lamp's actual size and assigns a number to each pattern piece, then records by code number the specific glass they'll use for each piece. Next, they cut out the numbered pattern pieces, lay them on the corresponding glass, and trace them with a marker. Using a glass cutter, they score the trace lines and snap them. When a piece is too small to get enough snapping leverage, they grip the glass with special pliers called grosers. Next, they sand smooth the rough edges of the cut pieces so they won't puncture the adhesive copper foil that goes on next. After wrapping each piece, they crimp the foil tightly, first with their fingers, then with a flat object. This design, like many, incorporates glass jewels. These come from glass suppliers ready-made. The next step is to coat the foil with flux, a chemical that enables solder to stick. Now, with a soldering iron, they melt tin and lead solder onto the copper foil. Initially, they just tack all the pieces together, completing one section of the shade at a time. Then they lay the sections side by side in a curved plaster mold. This bends them to the correct shape. More flux. Then with the soldering iron, they tack the sections to each other. Then solder the whole interior. Once that's done, they remove the shade from the mold and solder the whole exterior. Now they top the shade with a brass cap and solder that on. This lampshade design features dragonflies with brass filigree wings. After soldering the wings in place, it's time for what's called the final beating. A final soldering over the existing solder lines to make them even and rounded. Now, they wash the shade in an antiquing solution, which dulls the shine of both the solder and the brass cap, giving the lampshade an aged look. In another department, they install what's called the light cluster, a rod with light sockets and a pole chain into a lamp base. They fish the power cord up the base and out the top, then connect the cord to the wires coming from the sockets. They tuck in the wiring, apply thread locking solution, then screw the base closed. For the time being, they attach the finial that goes on top of the shade. And now, a light bulb moment. If everything works perfectly, the tags go on and the base gets its shade. The bases of the original Tiffany's were made of bronze. These, both for tabletop lamps and hanging fixtures, are cast from zinc. The same look at a fraction of the price.